Nothing is more beautiful than looking up into the night sky and seeing millions of stars. Today on the 25th anniversary of the Hubble Telescope, the George Observatory is celebrating the return of their 36-inch mirror. The director of the George Observatory, Peggy Halford, tells us more about today's event. Today we're celebrating the uh, return of our 36-inch mirror that has been out of commission for about almost three years now. Uh, we had to get it serviced, we had got it resurfaced, uh, reground. It took about a year and a month for the optician to work on the mirror. It is precision, quality, and better than it's ever been. Uh, tonight's the first night that we'll be able to look through, they call it first light, when you the public will get a chance to really look through the telescope for the first time. The, other reason to celebrate is this happens to be the 25th anniversary of the Hubble Space Telescope and there are places all around the world that are commemorating probably the most important scientific instrument that's ever been put up by NASA. It's returned better pictures and more information than we've ever had in the past. Halford gives us a little bit of history behind their famous telescope. Our mirror is actually 50 years old. We bought the telescope originally from LSU, and they had had it in similar conditions in Louisiana for 25 years. Now, we have had it for 25 years, so the mirror is basically 50 years old. Um, it, after 50 years of living in a swamp, it had gotten environmental pollutants under the coating, and we had to regrind it and make it a new mirror. Um, the advantage to this is that 50 years ago when they first ground it, it was old technology. Now we've got newer technology and the optician assures me that with this technology, we won't have to do this for another 50 years at least. We'll do some regular cleaning and maintenance, but it's gonna be fine. What that means is, is that this telescope is going to be available for our children and grandchildren to be able to come and, and look through you know, an amazing telescope here on Earth. Facility manager Joshua Roan tells us about the different telescopes at the George Observatory and how they have coped with the repair of their 36-inch mirror telescope. In our research dome, we have two telescopes. The first one is our 36-inch research telescope. That is the first telescope we had here in 1989. Uh, we have done research with that over the years. A few years ago, the mirror of the 36 inch uh, needed to be repaired. So we actually got a donation of an 11 inch telescope that is piggybacking on the 36 inch. And we use that in the meantime, while the 36 inch has been under repair. It's an excellent telescope itself, the 11 inch. It's similar to the telescope they use at Harvard University for their astronomy program. It's excellent for looking at near earth objects like planets, but there's nothing better than looking through the 36 inch and looking deeper into space like the Orion Nebula or even another galaxy. Halford shares with us some of the similarities and differences between their telescope and the Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble Space Telescope and our uh, George Observatory Telescope share almost a common background in that the same people that first designed the Hubble, a subsidiary of their company designed our scope. They're basically the same types of mirrors and same design. What you get here at the George Observatory is a very unique personal experience. You get the opportunity with your own eye to actually look through an eyepiece on a giant telescope and see with your own eyes things like Saturn and Jupiter. Tonight we hope to look at Jupiter, the moon will be up, there'll be all kinds of amazing things to see with this telescope now. For more information on the George Observatory, visit their website at www.hmns.org. For day trips, I'm Vladimir Munoz.